What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today we are at our Pell City location, Town & Country Ford and TC Customs located in Pell City, Alabama. But today we are actually here to do a lift kit on this beautiful Ford Bronco. Uh, this thing's actually been featured a couple of different times on our Instagram and also on our TikToks and things like that. This is actually one of our lead technicians vehicles. He had ordered this thing, reserved it a long time ago, finally came in and we have this to install on it. This is the Fabtech lift kit for the 2021 and the 2022 Ford Bronco. Now the cool part about these lift kits is uh, they've got two different versions. They've got one for a vehicle like this, which is the Wild Track. They also have another version of the lift kit that fits the base model shock. So I'll have those right there on the screens for the different part numbers. Or if you just want to use the links down below to purchase one of these two kits, you can absolutely do that. I do want to say a huge thanks to Fabtech for sending us this lift kit early so that way we have the ability to install it and show it off to you guys and the rest of the world. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these parts unboxed and show you what you get in this lift kit. All right, as you can see on the bottom left, we've got these Fabtech upper control arms. They are nice tubular. I believe they're chromoly if I'm not mistaken as well, but they are the same exact coilovers I've got on my personal Bronco and they do a really, really good job. Now on the bottom right hand side, you'll see the spacers for this kit. This is actually what gives you the lift for this particular kit. And uh, there's two different versions. One, as I've already mentioned, the base shock and then the other one, for vehicles that are equipped like this one, which is a wild track, meaning you have the Haas suspension system. And so that is going to be the big, big difference between those two spacers. You have a relocation bracket for the track bar, and uh, obviously you can see a whole lot of fittings to go with that. But the bread and the butter is going to be up there on the top left of that screen. That is going to be the Fabtech lower trailing arms. Those things are massive and they're guaranteed to never bend. Now this video is not going to be an install tutorial on how to put the lift kit on. It's more or less a product highlight. And then also once it's done and in getting installed, I'm gonna actually show you what it looks like with the massive wheels and tires that we've got set up for it, which are located right there. But, oh, take a look at this one. Another Bronco, beautiful outer banks, lifted on 37s, actually in the TC Custom Shop right now. Let's just go ahead and give you a sneak peek at the wheels and tires that our guy is putting on his Bronco. <laughs> look at those fuel rebels. Those things look absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait to see what that bronze looks like up against the Eruption Green. And here is the finished product, a 2022 Ford Bronco Wild Track lifted on 37s. It's absolutely amazing what this Fabtech lift kit can do for the overall appearance of this particular Bronco. Now, in full disclosure, Fabtech does not recommend a 37 inch tire for this application. In fact, Fabtech's recommendations are right there on the screen. Make sure you stick with that. But since this vehicle is owned by the technician that actually did the lift kit install, is one of our lead techs here, does a heck of a job for us. Uh, he doesn't mind cutting, grinding, and clearing out some room to make sure that these massive 37 inch tires can absolutely fit under all suspension articulation. And speaking of articulation, let's talk a little bit more about the wheel and tire combination that our technician actually selected. This is a 37 by 1250 R17 Yokohama Geolander MT. This is a very aggressive tread pattern. And in full disclosure, I've never actually driven any of these on road or off road, uh, but our technician actually sought these tires out. There was one other tire that he wanted ahead of this one, but one of the reasons he selected this, these are his words, not my words, is because of how aggressive the lugs actually looked on the top of the tire. It really does make this thing look a lot more aggressive than it even is. And from what he is saying, he's already gotten it on the road since we just did a quick little test drive on it. He said that it's really not that noisy on the road. So it's interesting to see how the longevity of these tires are going to turn out. I'm really, really excited about about that. You've already seen a little bit of this, but these are the wheels that he chose as well. These are a set of Fuel Rebel 6 wheels. They are done in the bronze color coloration to them, and the specs for the particular wheel as far as the offset is concerned is right there on the screen for you. Now let's take a look a little bit more depth and talk about that Fabtech suspension system. The nice thing about this suspension system is they do have two different applications. One for a standard shock absorber and another one for the Bilstein. Bilstein, I guess it depends on what part of Alabama you're from. 
<laughs> Anyways, the nice part is if you've got something as nice as this wild track, you've paid extra to get this Haas suspension system, the Haas 2.0. And it's neat to see that this Fabtech kit reutilizes that higher end strut, if you will. Now, one thing you'll realize is there is a top hat to it, meaning a, a spacer that is bolted to the top of it. And in the front of the vehicle, you've also got a shim that goes in to extend it as well. So uh, from my understanding, I'm not a Fabtech or a suspension expert, from my understanding though, is it's supposed to help balance out that preload so that way you have a nice ride on road while not sacrificing anything off road. So that is a pretty sweet little setup there. Now you also happen to have these massive upper control arms. I believe they are chromoly, but they are heavy duty and they are also tubular and designed to, to help get that suspension geometry back more in line so that way you can align the vehicle up and allowing these tires to last a lot longer uh, without getting worn down in some weird kind of way because it wasn't balanced out or it wasn't aligned properly. In the rear of the vehicle, you have another spacer out back that allows you to make sure that you maintain the right height from the front to rear so that way your truck's not squatting. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting to see that on the back of the, the Bronco, because this one is a Sasquatch model, there's not an actual spacer that goes in there like in the front does for the preload. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. If I had to guess, I'd say the rear of the suspension might be a little softer than it is in the front. But I'm sure Fabtech has got those details worked out. And once again, in full disclosure, I've not driven this exact lift kit yet. I just wanted to show it off to you guys. Uh, but you'll notice these lower arms here, they are massive, chromoly as well, and they're guaranteed by Fabtech to never bend and they've got these massive little heim joints massive little is that an oxymoron uh <laughs> they've got these massive heim joints to make sure that you've got unbelievable strength and uh yeah if you bash it on a rock you're probably gonna be okay in the suspension in the rear i know this video has primarily been focused around the suspension the wheels and the tires but i cannot get away from actually showing you the fab force front bumper that we have here uh, that also happens to have the warren xeon 10s synthetic line winch now i mentioned to you our technician he's a rock star um, the reason i bring that up is because notice how this uh, Fab Force bumper has got those parking sensors in the front. Well, from what he has told me is that the factory Fab Force bumper does not have the cutouts for the sensors. I'm not sure why that is, but it's okay because our guy was actually able to uh, custom make those for his own application so that way he could maintain and keep those parking sensors. However, that camera, yep, RIP. <laughs> he still doesn't have very good visibility with that camera, but that's okay because that Warren Winch will get him out of a situation because he does and continues to off-road this Bronco. And there you have it. That is our first look at this brand new lift kit from Fabtech Motorsports. Uh, if you want to take a look at it uh, and purchase the lift kit on our website, I'll have that linked down below for you guys if you want to check that out. But I mean, just look how tall this thing is standing next to me. I mean, I'm six foot three, so it, <laughs> to put that in perspective, this thing is absolutely massive. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it at all make sure you hit that like button it actually does do us a lot of help so we appreciate that leave some comments down below and if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video peace